What's up YouTube, back today with another video and in today's video I'm going to be taking one of my new aquariums over to a window tinting shop to get the back glass tinted and I figured I'd go ahead and take you guys along with me. tank today that we're going to be tinting this is a 33 gallon long aquarium now i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm going to be putting in this aquarium just yet but that's something we'll talk about later on here in this video so make sure you guys stick around the end to find out but yeah let me go ahead and get this loaded up and over to my buddy's shop and then pick up there all right guys so i made it down to my buddy's shop and he's going to be tinting the the back glass of this aquarium right here and i'm just going to go ahead and record him doing it and show you guys step by step on how he does it so this right here is the first step where he's going to clean the glass and then what's the next step after this? Uh, we're going to measure the glass and then uh, we're going to take it over to the computer. We're going to pre-cut it out to the size and then uh, put it on there. Sweet. Well, we're going to go ahead and hit it with the... You still using that? Is that a dryer sheet or no? Uh, no, this is just like a scrub pad just to get off any contaminants, any sticky areas, um, especially from the sticker on the back. But just a white scotch bright. Um, it's not going to scratch the glass. Um, but basically what we use on every window. Um, and then I'm going to razor blade it and make sure there's uh, no contaminants, but I always like to feel it to make sure there's no sticky stuff or residue from glue or stickers. Sweet. Well, yeah, he's going to go ahead and clean the glass and I'll show you guys how he uh, cuts the tent to be the exact size for this aquarium. Over here at the plotter and he's going to go ahead and cut out the exact measurements we need for the aquarium. That's what I was going to Set up the sizes now, 10.5. And I got that rectangle pulled up. I'm just going to set that out to the side for now. 1400 degrees. And it should start printing here. Oh, no, sorry. Got to hit the button. Just got to read the top edge real quick. Just going to measure how wide it is first, and then I'll cut it out. Oh, okay. It's just kind of reading how much material it has to cut off. Very fast. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we got plane. And just like that. That's sick. Cut off that piece. Yes, sir. I don't think so. Let me see his wall right here. Wall King's window tinny. Pull out the access. Super satisfying. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Uh, final squeegee here. Water's off. Wow! All right, now we'll use our gel. This is basically just to kind of hold any contaminations. Instead of like water seeping down, I use gel. Not like hair gel or nothing like that. It's like actual window film application gel. Right. So we'll just put that on around the edges, just because there's a lot of dust that can come out of these. Screen our window. Soapy water, baby shampoo and water. Reverse our piece here. Learn from the professionals. Don't touch too much, just the corners. Lay up your top edge first, don't worry about your bottom. Make sure there's no daylight gaps. And then when you're happy where it's at, don't put a lot of pressure when you squeegee. You just want to do your initial squeegee first. Excuse me. Oh, not bad. You're fine. If you attack the top edge, just do little bits at a time. Don't try to do the whole window. And just work your way down. Mm -hmm. 
So this is 5% window tint right here? Yep, 5%. Sweet. And, and that is how you access. do it. Oh, little access right there. We'll just trim that off and we'll be good to go. And just like that, in no time, crystal. Now right now you can see through it, but once this tank is set up and everything's in there, you shouldn't be able to see through the back glass, so pretty cool. And you guys will have to subscribe to go ahead and see this tank set up in, in action. But yeah, stick around to the end. Precise. Finished product right here. As you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. And if you guys are interested in doing anything like this or any other window tinting work and anything that's glass related, my man can get you right. If you guys are looking where to find him at, he'll go ahead and tell you right now. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Walkings Window Tinting. Or my Instagram is also Walkings Window Tinting. You can shoot us a message, text us, call us, whatever it is. If it's glass, we'll take care of it for you. You got a YouTube channel too that you just haven't uh, posted on recently. Yeah, it's a uh, tent lapse. Tent it's lapse. Time lapse. It's tent lapse. Um, we don't really have anything posted right now, but we'll get there. <laughs> all righty. Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and link all his uh, socials in the description below if you guys want to check him out and stay tuned with everything that he does over here at Walkings Window Tinting. He also does a lot of cars and a lot of content daily with cars and everything on Instagram. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the camera whenever I get home and show you the possibility, uh, the possible inhabitants for this aquarium and what I'm thinking of doing with it. One eternity later. All right guys, so it's a little later on in the night and I figured I'd go ahead and show you how the aquarium looks now that it's back on its stand and in place. So it definitely looks a lot better than it did earlier. But yeah, I haven't even spoke with you guys what I'm doing yet with this aquarium, so I'm going to go ahead and pop down in the fish room and show you what's right, going so on. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what I have in mind for that 33-gallon aquarium. So originally I bought it for these guys right here. These are my Lampralagus Gold Ocelotus, and I have a group of eight of these guys right now in this 20 long, which is a good size tank for them. They're thriving in here and doing really well. But I actually bought that aquarium for these guys to upgrade them because these guys are quite aggressive. So I figured I'd go ahead and give them more space. But... The more that I think thought about it, it also would make sense for me to go ahead and do my planted aquarium. So I'll go ahead and shoot down there and show you what I'm Although talking about. Although that those gold ocelotus would be an amazing match for that 33 gallon aquarium, I also have this planted angelfish and Romino's tetra aqu aquarium that's also planted in the fish room. So the more that I think about it, the more that it would make sense to do this aquarium as well because I would also be freeing up a 40 gallon for more grow outs that I have in the fish room because I have a lot of fish growing out. Now, the only thing is, with that 33 gallon long, is I might have to go ahead and get rid of my angelfish. So, that's the sad thing about this whole ordeal, but I do have a buddy who might be interested in those, so I might just go ahead and rehome them to him, and then have my Romy Nose Tetras, my one Julie Ducromis, the Cory Catfish, and I might even add some other fish in there if I do get rid of the angelfish. I think it'll be a great fit for this aquarium. Plus, that tank is also in my living room area and it's like right in the middle of my kitchen so you can see it all over the upper level of my home so it'd be really nice to have a really beautiful scape in that aquarium so this tank is great and it looks amazing as it is but i just think it would make really a lot of sense for me to take this tank down and move it back up to the inside the house so it would look amazing up there and i would also have more space for more grow out so and and if i did the gold ocelotus I'd free up a 20 gallon, but in this case, I'd free up a 40 gallon aquarium. And I know I really don't want to uh, take this tank back down because it's only been running for a few months now, which you can see it's starting to, everything's starting to really settle in nice. But I think it would be really nice to have all this up there in that 33 gallon long. I've just wanted one of the aquariums for quite some time now, and I finally got my hands on one. So super excited with it. I really don't think I could go wrong either way with doing that. I just wanted to ask you guys and see what you guys thought. So if you guys want to uh, voice your opinion and let me know what you guys would do or what I should do, drop down in the comments below and let me know. I know that the glass is a little dirty and I kind of just threw these plants in here. This is my recent uh, fish swap pickup is these plants and then all the other plants kind of got uprooted out of the rocks. So this tank isn't looking the greatest right now and it's uh, time for water change. I usually go a little bit longer on water changes with this aquarium than anything else because it does have live plants in it. So yeah, you'll have that time to time, but everything else is looking great in the fish room. I just wanted to go ahead and get your guys' opinion on what you guys think I should do or pros and cons of both. So, and I agree that there's probably pros and cons with either setup I do, 
but this tank would be very nice up there it would be awesome addition to my fish collection but yeah you see this tanks empty up here eventually I'm gonna probably and it would be nice because I do have some more stuff going on with this right here which I'll talk about in another video later on but yeah if you guys want to stay up to date with everything in the fish room and like today's content I want you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you guys get updated every time that I post a new video but yeah if you guys are wondering why I sound a little sick it's because I am because my last video I, I was cleaning the FX6 filter outside at 1 a.m. and 20 degree weather so that will definitely get you sick and I am miserable so that's why I'm a little late posting these videos and I apologize for that but yeah if you guys want to do me a great favor go ahead drop a like comment subscribe and let me know what you guys think thanks for watching